In a world where discrimination, hatred, and criticism reign supreme, some refuse to be broken, determined to leave their mark on history, no matter the cost. They teach us that we are stronger than we think and can overcome obstacles. In this video, we pay tribute to Muhammad Ali Kaleh, one of the greatest boxing champions ever. Looking how marked and unconcerned Ali's nose bleed the stop. His resolve to help his fellow black Americans realize their true worth and strength made him even more extraordinary. I'm going to fight for the prestige, not for me, but to uplift my little brothers who are sleeping in concrete floors today in America. Muhammad Ali Kaleh's story begins in a small village, far from the glitz and glamour of the world stage, on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky. U.S. Let me go, let me go. Ali. Oh, and a right hand shot. Born as Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. into humble beginnings, he faced adversity from an early age. With limited resources and opportunities, his family struggled to make ends meet. In this challenging environment, the first seeds of his resilience were sown. If he puts on a good show, people will start to talk about him. Heavyweight champion from Miami Beach. Jokes. What's He was always a determined child. Despite the hardships, he had this spark in his eyes, a relentless spirit that refused to accept defeat. Well, Ali is asking for it. Don't be trying to get it to him. If my mind can conceive it, if my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali started boxing at the age of 12. He was introduced to the sport by Joe Martin, a police officer who ran a youth boxing program in Louisville, Kentucky. An early start in boxing helped him to develop his signature style and skills. He was known for his lightning-fast reflexes, graceful footwork, and ability to float and sting his opponents with jabs and combinations. But life didn't get any easier. He faced discrimination, poverty, and countless hurdles on his path to success. His journey was fraught with early setbacks, yet he never let them define him. I faced my fair share of struggles, but I always believed that adversity could be a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. Muhammad Ali, 
He was not the one to make excuses and abstain from climbing the stairs of success. He would come to the gym, and if it, say, he didn't get a ride to the gym, he didn't have no car. Ali quickly run. excelled at boxing, and by the time he was 16, he was already a national champion. He went on to win the Olympic gold medal in the light heavyweight division at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome, Italy. After turning professional in 1960, Ali became one of the greatest heavyweight boxers ever. He won the World Heavyweight Championship in 1964, 1974, and 1978. He was known for his relentless training and dedication to his craft. Ali often trained for hours on end, even when he was not preparing for a fight. He would run, lift weights, and spar with some of the best boxers in the world. I don't count my sit -ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. Ali's work ethic was not only evident in his physical training, but also in his mental preparation. He was a master of visualization and self-belief. Before every fight, Ali would visualize himself defeating his opponent. He would also talk himself up and tell himself that he was the greatest boxer in the world. But his success was not without its challenges. He was a vocal critic of the Vietnam War and refused to be drafted into the army. As a result, he was stripped of his heavyweight championship and banned from boxing for three years. Critics deemed his unorthodox style of floating around the ring and throwing punches from unusual angles a threat to his successful boxing career. According to the critics, his outspokenness was another threat to his career. But they couldn't scare Muhammad Ali off. He was not courageous enough to take risks and accomplish nothing in life. When Ali retired with a professional boxing record of 56-5, with 37 knockouts, he was one of the few heavyweight boxers to have retired with an undefeated record. I'm gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, joy. What do you think made Muhammad Ali one of the most popular and influential sports figures of the 20th century? Are you ready to go out there, rise above hatred and criticism, and become a role model for generations? If you enjoyed this episode, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more stories of remarkable individuals who've overcome the odds.